Hi everyone and welcome to this video. This is going to be not so much of a tutorial but rather an explanation and comparison between two popular formats, Lottie animation and GIF files. These are two very popular formats, one of them being a little older, we are all used to sharing GIFs on social media, for example, or also putting them on our websites to showcase some functionality of the product you are selling, or maybe adding them to your blog posts. Lottie is the solution for animated content that has appeared quite recently. But it's gaining popularity super fast and we even had a couple videos on our channel talking about Lottie and teaching you how to use it, starting from how to pick the illustration for Lottie, how to import it in After Effects. If you are planning to create a Lottie animation yourself, check out that tutorial because we walk you through all the steps on how to do this and how to embed it on Elementor page using Elementor Page Builder. Not even the pro version, but the free version. With the free version is also possible. But in this video, we will talk about why you should choose Lottie over GIF files. And there are plenty of reasons. And if you feel like this video is not going to convince you, try and watch till the end because there are lots and lots of things that Lottie does way better than GIF format does. And we're going to talk about these two formats in terms of several aspects, in terms of five basic aspects, like size, meaning the file size, which is pretty much everyone's concern when things come to putting some piece of media on your page because it may significantly slow down the uh, loading speed if the file is too huge. Also talk about the quality aspect, which will concern the colors, how sharp the overall image looks, how well the format can handle gradients, etc. Also customization. Can you edit the end product, the ready-made file that you have already, if you can edit it or not? And a little spoiler for you, in comparison to GIF files, Lottie does so much better regarding this aspect. By the way, we're not affiliated with them in any way. This tool is completely free. Another important feature that these both formats share is that they're completely free to use. You do not need to pay for anything to be able to put either a Lottie animation or a GIF file on your page. Also, I've added the transparency aspect there. If you can enable transparency and how it looks overall, because sometimes we need that if we want to put it on a section with not a white background, maybe there's a gradient background and you need things to look right. So we're going to also talk about how these formats handle alpha channel. And the last fifth aspect is the general workflow. How can you get your animation that you have produced to play on your page in a GIF format or in a Lottie format. We'll compare which way is faster, which way is easier and more beginner friendly and what are the options for you if you want to start putting Lottie animations on your page. So let's get started with the video. Okay, so let's start with the first aspect which was size. In this video I'll mainly use this animation as an example. I created this one for one of our latest tutorials and you can check it out on our YouTube channel just so you catch up with everything we've been up to recently. And this will be this tiny loop with this animation. And now I'm going to export it in JSON, which will be the Lottie animation because the Lottie files uses uh, JSON files. Now let me quickly introduce you to Lottie files if you hearing about it for the very first time. If you go to lottiefiles.com, the link will be in the description down below, and you go to resources and you click what is Lottie. This is what it's going to show you. It's going to explain you that this is a JSON-based animation file format. Simply put, it turns your animation into lines of code and their web player that's prov provided by Lottie Files as well allows you to play back these animations on your page wherever you embed them. And it's not only for the web, it's also for, it's also for systems like iOS, Android and others. So here you have a bunch of information about it. But one of the biggest benefits you get when you start working with Lottie is the file size, which we'll directly talk about in just a second. So as I've said, what I did is exported this same animation in both GIF format and JSON format, which will allow me then to upload it and play it back in the Lottie Files web player. To do that, as I've showed you in the previous video, we'll need to go to preview 
and simply drop our file right there. So it's very simple and now the animation is playing back and all you have to do is just copy this URL and place it in the web player and then copy the code of this web player and drop it on your page. And this is what I did right before I started to record the video, just so we don't take too much time dwelling on it. And this is the HTML element. We're using elements for free here. And I have just placed this piece of code that I have just copied over there and explained back my animation. And here, this is the GIF file. And you can see the difference instantly. But we're going to talk about the looks a little later. For now, let's check the size of this file. That is the GIF file that I have uploaded to the image widget. Let's jump back there and this is our GIF file. And you could tell that it is actually 5 megabytes. And this GIF is only 4 seconds long as well as the JSON animation. But the thing is that this Lottie animation does not take almost any time to load on your page. It's incredibly fast. And normally the JSON file sizes are ridiculously small. And since you'll be using a web player to play back your animation for your Lottie files library, which you can access right here. Yeah, I have uploaded a bunch of these here already. Or you can also use the web player by Lottie to play these animations back from your media library. And in either of these cases, it's going to take almost no time to load. As for the GIFs, Imagine if you have more colors, imagine if your GIF is longer, the size of your file is going to increase drastically once you add more and more content to your GIF. So the conclusion is that if the speed of your page matters to you and you're concerned about how long it's going to take to load all the content that you have on your page, then Lottie is a way more reasonable choice since it's going to take you almost no time to load this super crisp animation and will allow you to place as many of these animations on your page as you like. All right, moving on to the next aspect, which was quality. By looking at these two images side by side, you can tell that even here, you see that the GIF while compressing the animation actually messed up the background color a little bit. Now it's not white, it's actually gray, while it wasn't gray in the original video. Also, to reduce the file size, I actually had to export this GIF file with the width of 750 pixels, which is actually not that big. And once you scale it up, you can tell that it starts looking a little bit blurry while the Lottie animation is crisp and sharp thanks to it being actually a bunch of code. This is how it can preserve this crispness even when you scale it up to like huge sizes. Well, you do so with the GIF image, it doesn't hold up. Like I now made them ridiculously big and you can tell that the amount of detail is still the same in the Lottie animation while the GIF file is super blurry. And as I've said, once you increase the number of pixels you have in your GIF, the size of your file will be growing exponentially. So it's either quality or the page loading speed. And you have to choose only one of these two because you can have both. Also, if you have a big number of colors in your picture, GIF format is going to mess this up like a lot. If you try not to compress it too heavily, you're going to end up with a huge file which you'll not be able to put anywhere without it taking ages to load. Also, as for gradients, you can tell that Lottie handles gradients just great. Well, GIF files, due to the compression and the limited capability to preserve a lot of colors and color shades, gradients just look terrible in GIF files. GIF files introduce bending, grain into gradients, and lots and lots of not very pleasant looking artifacts. And also another advantage of Lottie is that it allows you to preserve the native FPS, which means that the number of frames per second that you intended this animation to have will be preserved while when exporting GIFs, if you want to keep your file size to a minimum, you will need to cut down on the frames per second, which sometimes can make your animation look significantly worse. I'll also mention one little last thing about the quality of Lottie animations, and I really do think that interactivity is a big part of 
the quality of these animations is a big part of why I think Lottie is a huge thing and will only grow in popularity in the nearest future. Because interactivity is something that keeps you engaged. This is why people love parallax effects on their websites. It's lo it allows you to play with all of these effects and see what happens when you scroll down the page, when you move your cursor across the page, how elements move and react to your actions on your website. So it is very important to be able to bring this into all of these little experiences like looking at the animation or looking at the image and Lottie allows you to do that. They have a huge and powerful interactivity library which in the future will very likely be only growing. For now there is a fairly decent number of different modes of different settings and in particular I will mention that video again <laughs> that we did recently about Lottie Files interactivity and how to implement it on Elementor websites. So in a nutshell, this is something that you cannot achieve with GIF files in any way, where you can control the animation with the movement of your cursor or you can control the animation with, with your mouse wheel as you scroll down the page. I just think it makes Lottie even more attractive to the potential user. Now customization. By customization, I mean the possibility to edit your file when you already have it done. With GIF files, it is like a video or a PNG image. You just have this file and you cannot edit it. Of course, you can import it in some software, try editing it like cutting, but still you cannot get the same level of customization as you could if you had access to the source material of this GIF file. Like here, if I go in, and I want to change the color, let's say, of this arrow. It's going to take me seconds to just go in, pick any other color and just assign it to this arrow. And I can do that just easily. But once I have this GIF already rendered right here in the GIF format, I can, I can do none of that. And I can only change the speed of this GIF if I use some software, whether it's online software, by the way, we're going to talk about software a, a little later after we are done talking about the customization possibilities with Lottie files. So in a nutshell, the thing is, it's not that easy and in some aspects it's impossible to edit a finished GIF file. While with Lottie animations, you can change the background color to some different color other than transparent or white. You can change the animation speed, you can speed this up. Also, what's even better, you can edit the colors of the individual layers. So the colors can match, let's say, your brand identity colors, which is super awesome because it all means that you can edit Lottie animation at any point after it's finished and already exported into the JSON format, which you cannot say about GIF files. So another point goes to Lottie animations. Next up, transparency. Now to demonstrate you the difference in the behavior that these two formats express when dealing with the alpha channel, I've picked a GIF file and a Lottie file with no background. I grabbed this GIF from a free GIF sharing service and found a similar Lottie animation on the Lottie files website. I placed both of these on the gradient background so we can clearly see the edges of each of these two animations. Now when looking at the GIF file, you can see that the edges are jaggy and not looking really nice overall, while with Lottie animation there are no issues regarding the alpha channel at all. Now the very last aspect we're going to talk about is the process of creation of the particular file format. While with GIF files you can go use pretty much any online editor that allows you to export GIF files from your video files or image sequences. Also, you can create GIFs in Photoshop, you can create them by exporting them from After Effects or Premiere Pro by using Media Encoder or by using third-party plugins. But of course, those are all paid options and as for the free options, if you simply type in Create GIF Online and pick like probably the very first link that you see. You can upload your video right here and it gives you some options like cut your video, change the speed, change to mp4. Unfortunately, as I've said, there's no way to change like colors of the background or colors of the objects right there. But we'll simply go with video to gif. 
outside with 20 and we'll just convert to GIF and it will take some time and produce a GIF from our video and this is what it will look like. So the process is pretty simple, it is streamlined. All you do is just click a couple buttons and it's quite fast to create. And the size is fairly not that big. Now was the process of creating a GIF file and as you have noticed, there are multiple options to go about this process. As for the Lottie files, it's pretty streamlined if you want to create it yourself. You simply grab an illustration, you animate it in After Effects, you download a free plugin for After Effects and you export it as a JSON file. Then you upload it to your Lottie Files account or you upload the JSON file to your media library. You grab the web player and you drop the link to your, to your JSON file wherever you store it into that web player and that's it, you simply have it playing on your page. And we've talked about this process in detail in, in one of the earlier tutorials. And you can check the link in the description, it will be right there. And if you want to get a ready-made Lottie animation, there are multiple options too. You can either, you can grab one on Lottie Marketplace. And we on Template Master are also thinking about opening the category for Lottie files. So if you're down for that, let us know in the comments down below and also let us know which categories of Lottie animations you would love to see first. Overall, that's pretty much all for the basic and quick overview of the differences between Lottie format and the GIF files format. And I hope it was clear to you guys what differences they have, what similarities they have, and all the pros and cons of both of these. You might have noticed that I am really excited about the Lottie files because they allow you to significantly cut down on the page loading speed. Overall, the image looks better, it is scalable, it preserves the smoothness with all the FPS that you can put in there, the editability and all the options to customize the player, also you can make this interactive. But alright, I do recommend you to check this out yourself and just see it with your own eyes. But in case you need an illustration to start playing around in After Effects and creating animations for Lottie, you can check out templatemaster.com where we have regular updates for our illustration category and a lot of other categories. And if you didn't know, pretty recently we started having new categories like video, like stock video, stock music and editable motion graphics templates for After Effects, Premiere Pro, Final Cut and more are coming. And I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another one.